Hi, I'm Don Barnetson, and I'm responsible for Credo's Highwire Active Electrical Cable, or AEC, products. Today, I'm going to show you a 400 terabit switch rack based on next generation 800 gig ethernet, built two ways with DACs and AECs. This rack uses 32 25 terabit switches connected together with 256 cables in a cloth structure to provide 400 terabits of total bandwidth. One of the challenges with this rack is power starting to approach 50 kilowatts, uh, which means that cooling is absolutely everything, and the mass of cables interconnecting this is really becoming challenging. Two of the reasons we think that this might be the end of the road for DAC cables. This is a bundle of eight 800 gig DACs. You can see these DACs have gotten really, really thick. And even if I really put the herd on these, this is about the best bend radius that I can get at here. This becomes really challenging when we're trying to route 256 of these in one rack. At 1.4 kilowatts per U, cooling and airflow are really everything in this system. The challenge here is you've got so much massive copper up front that you're blocking airflow on the right-hand side of the switch, significantly worsening the cooling challenge. The second issue is how are you going to maintain this? If you have a switch fail, you need to be able to disconnect the cables and do a hot swap on that. This massive cables really challenges that activity in the field. This is the same rack built with 800 gig high wire active electrical cables. What a difference. These are nicely loomed together and you can see these cables are easy to maintain and there's plenty of space for airflow both top and bottom. But what enables this are the 800 gig high wire AECs, which are a quarter the volume and a quarter the weight of those DACs. And they bend and handle just like Cat6 cables. So not only can I bend them like this, but I can twist them up in a pretzel like this. That makes routing 256 cables in this rack a relative breeze. What was actually most surprising about this analysis was cost. The AEC rack ended up being lower cost than the DAC rack because the modest increase in the cost of the AECs was more than offset by the bleeding edge dielectric that you have to use in the DAC switch case. That Megtron 8 dielectric is much, much more expensive than a more mainstream Megtron 7 that you can use here.